Okay guys, how's it going? It's Dot here, back with another Tears of the Kingdom episode, and I'm talking to okay. now, Kira. Have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey, that looks interesting. Step at a time. What exactly happened? Let me just recount all of the details real quick. Can't possibly be that hard, right? So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then later you wake up on a sky island saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature and learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rawr. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Yep, that's that's about it. What? Then. What? Are you saying you came from up there? Yep, that would be the place. This robber you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule hmm. was named. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm sure that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need you to meet up with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Hawes. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. I don't like the name. Character profiles. Cool. But now I have a new quest. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Well, I guess, I guess let's go to Hyrule Castle. I'm assuming there's a shrine somewhere around here so that I can teleport to this place. But I guess I'll find it later. Because you can't, like, teleport to cities. Oh, there's a shrine there. President Hudson, are you okay? Who is President Hudson? What? Oh no, what have I done? Alright, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall. No, it's the sign. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable, President Hudson. You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that, 
Hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was what was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission, and that's to put up these signs all over the place so let everyone know that Hudson construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. They betray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, I pledge to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? Alright, I'll let go. Whoa, unforgivable. Are we going to go into this whole cutscene again? <laughs> President Hudson, I'll support you. Oh my. Okay, okay, good. Good, good, good. You let us go. Central Square. I feel like I'm supposed to recognize this from Breath of the Wild, but I really do not. I'm gonna do the shrine real quick and then I'll go meet up with President Hudson. I'm assuming that's who I need to talk to next. Although, then again, I guess I probably can't say I'll do the shrine real quick because the shortest time I've done a shrine has been like 25 minutes, so. <laughs> yeah! But we got this. I believe in me. Oh, it's combat. I can do combat. I'm good at combat. Well, okay, I'm sometimes good at combat. What the? It has three eyes. This is cheating. Okay. Shrine sure purifies the ancient evil. You who entered here, heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemies' attacks. This will be an opening that you can use to strike back. Thank you. Yep, I know how to strafe and jump. Two-handed weapon. Actually, I should probably get out my, like, actually strong weapon. And flurry. It just doesn't have a health bar. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Okay. Yep, got it. Let me use a not good weapon because... Clearly... I don't know if I'm supposed to like flurry or what exactly, but I'm gonna flurry because I can. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time to strike back in the opening crate. I am terrible at parries. I am so unbelievably bad at parries. I parried perfectly the first try, let's go. Build up your power and then release it to unleash- oh yeah yeah yeah. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Yep. Oh. Rusty broadsword. Your mastery of these techniques have earned you access. Proceed within. Got it. I can't carry any more melee weapons. Oh, this is almost broken, so... Actually, I don't think I can throw this. It just... Like. Rusty broadsword. A construct bow. Can't carry any more of those. Do I need more of those? Yeah. Get rid of this old wooden bow and construct bow. Okay, let's go. Wait, where's the. Oh, wait, the chest is right here. <laughs> it confuses me still because the chests are, like, different from Breath of the Wild, so. Zonite sword. It resonates with attached Zonite devices to slightly increase its attack power. Cool. I really don't need this. Yay, that shrine didn't take me three hours. Just what I need. I'm gonna try attaching a Zonite thing to this weapon and see what it does. Like maybe the Zonite Construct Horn. Uh, let's see 
here. Let's see here. Uh, no, no, no. Materials. Wait, what is this? Pokemon horn. So I have these Captain Construct horns. They're not Zonite, though. Do I have to use, like, a specific Zonite thing? Maybe? I don't know where... Oh, here we go. Here's the Zonite charge. It says that it'll do something special. So I'm gonna try it. And then... When it doesn't do anything, I can just destroy it. And... Oh, so it actually gave it, like, pretty decent attack. Okay. And then let me fuse these two weapons real quick as well. I need more of these Captain Construct horns. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's keep going. What's this guy doing? Hmm. Link, is that really you? When did you get back out of the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watch duty and I didn't see you at all. <laughs> Captain Hose doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, mm -hmm. past lower gates. I'm sure the captain will just be- it will be just a surprise. Okay, on- past the gates, on the gate tower. Those are conflicting instructions. So he's like on one of those towers, or is he on like a different tower? These aren't just gonna magically open for me, are they? Let me do this. Hi there, how's it going? Hey, serious off moments while we conduct our search for. You can't just. Wow, took him that long to recognize me. I'm sorry, I had no idea that you'd return. Wait, if you're back, does that mean we don't need the search party anymore? Huh? You should go talk to Captain Hose. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. Got it, thank you. Do I have anything to increase my speed? I do not. I can't allow anyone Ooh. pass here. This area is restricted for only those involved in the search. It's direct order. Okay. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission. He should be in the first gatehouse. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's not fall down there. I don't know if I was supposed to go up or if I'm just supposed to keep following the road. I don't know. That's barred off. We've turned up nothing in here. The gatehouse over there. Oh, is this the gatehouse? I'm assuming this is the gatehouse. He's too busy, I guess. Oh. Did you come up here to look for Princess? Yeah, me and a few of the others had the same idea. We all agreed to yield to the princess. We're hoping to mm. open but the captain is way on top of this gatehouse there. Doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. He just showed up without being asked, so uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. Okay, so that I can, like, burn down. The first gatehouse, okay. <clears throat> what about the weapons? Mm -hmm. Hey, it's in your face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none at this point. I'd be surprised if they were oh. intact weapons left in high roll. They're a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Okay, so if I were to, like... That's a torch, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, I probably need a torch. So I think I can drop that and take the torch. If I were to get on top of a gatehouse, how would I do that? Because I can't go through. So I'm guessing I just climb up here. The 
Nobody's yelled at me so far. And I climb up here, maybe? I don't know if I can climb around this. We'll see. I can. Okay. There we go. Let's not fall back down. This is Captain Hose. Hose. I don't know how to say his name. Nope, I finished the search up. Captain Hose is like, kind of on the edge. I didn't want to bother him. Which, which one of you is? Are you him? Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Look at me. There you go. Huh? <laughs> Link, is that you? You're alive? And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Elda is safe too? What a relief. Nope, have to tell him the bad news. Hang on, you're alone, but you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search? I see. Or maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Captain, it's Princess Zelda! It is Princess Zelda! Princess Zelda, she's safe! No, she's not safe. Where's the mummy? Oh, great. Now we're going on a fairy hunt. Wait, what? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? Yeah, she did that before. How strange, this this is an emergency situation. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pure know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it'll take a bit. Please, you must tell Pure about what happened here as soon as possible. And back to Pura. Let me climb up here again. I'm sure there's probably a proper way that you're supposed to do this, but eh. But eh. Hi, Pura. I'm back. How's it going? Link, well, did you find anything? What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? Yep, you got it right. Exactly. Like I said, I gotta say, your stories are always so wild. <laughs> but if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've gotta believe it. <laughs> Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval, for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Oh yeah, you still got the pure pad, right? Can I see it for a second? Maybe. It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, 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 aha! Mm -hmm. Oh right, I forgot that before we can look at the overall map of Hyrule, you need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower! Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, the Skyview Tower's over there. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Uh. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. Travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick. Just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, mm -hmm. talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center right where the emergency shelter is. If you need clothing for your travels, you should go to Mub's shop. I'll be over by your Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Okay, got it. Alright, Joshua, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll yeah. handle the travel point. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc. You can count on me. I'm wondering if that's, like, her child, maybe? I don't know. Whoa. 
Glad to have you back, Link. My name is Scorpus. I've been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, at any, I will answer. Please allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Is that the wood that you're standing right next to? Is that the emergency shelter? Ew. Hey, it's me. Open up. It's not the wood that he's standing right next to. Oh cool, there's a ladder. Ah. There's a group of, uh, used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use for it. Feel free to make yourself at home at any vault. Use any equipment you want. Thank you. Let's see here. What do we have here? So I think I'm going to sleep, and then I don't know. Where, oh, here are the beds. Can I can I just sleep until morning? I think I'm gonna sleep, and then I'm gonna go buy some clothes, and then in the next episode we will go to the Sky View Tower because this episode is already getting long. So yeah, great. <laughs> Yay, I slept, and I'm back to full health. Like, nothing happened. Somebody had a quest over here. Traveler Sword Decay, Boko Reaper. What is this? I have no idea. Somebody had a quest for me. Here we go. Healthy cooking. Hmm. Hey, you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that's because I'm a newcomer, too. My name is Ber Bermano? Bermano? I don't know. And they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say fancy like for today's menu we have fruit and mushroom mix uh, that rev you right up. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plumb out of apples. If I don't have my most important video, say oh. goodbye to my rich. Yes, I have apple. Wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some crumb. Hold on a sec. Ah, uh, we. I will happily take any food. <laughs> I'm calling it Bermano's Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Yep, looks very tasty. Thank you. I don't think I have mushrooms, so... Okay, let's go get some clothes. <laughs> Way more expensive than what I can afford. Let's see here. Can I can I sell you some stuff? It's been so great. It's just so great. The Highline Armor series has caught your eyes too. This design is so cool. It fits like a glove. It's popular. I want to talk to you. Yes. Yes. Buy my stuff. I'll sell you all my amber. I'm out of that. Those that go for like nothing. Those are decently expensive, but still not worth it. That, uh, da, 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 oh, bomb flowers, but the, I need those. So, like like stone. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'll sell them all. And then I will sell my opal. I need like 300, uh, probably 400. Probably 400 rupees, so... I don't think I'm gonna be able to buy all of the armor. I need those. You know, honestly, I don't think I need these. Because I think I can just go get more if I do need them. So. Thank you. Thank you. I will buy this. Yes. Because I don't have one of those. And then I'll buy this. Because it's way better than whatever I'm wearing now. 
and I can just barely not afford that. So we'll come back when we can afford it. And yeah, looks like that's going to be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we are going to apparently fill in a map region. So that'll be cool. And yeah. I guess that's it. So, bye!